All right, guys, we've had kind of a maintenance day on some of our equipment here at the shop, so I'm getting to do something I don't usually get to do, and that is tear down an engine. So I've got a 6.7 Cummins here, and I was excited about being able to tear into this thing, uh, treat it like a mystery, you know, a whodunit. Uh, where, did, where did this engine fail? What went wrong? And unfortunately for me, it wasn't that much of a mystery. I will uh, turn over the engine. I'm surprised the rotating assembly actually, you know, rotates because it will be very obvious and apparent to you where the issue lies. So you'll see right there as we come up to the top here, those pistons are supposed to be even. So that piston has melted. And what causes that is, well, exceedingly high temperatures. What probably caused this particular malfunction may, may have been a stuck injector or something like that. Too much fuel uh, in the combustion chamber created a very hot uh, environment there and it melted the piston. And aluminum melts around 1220 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, what was really particularly interesting to me, of course, you can see here there's a piece of piston ring there. But here are also pieces of a piston ring that I pulled from different places that a uh, piston ring from this cylinder should not have been. Uh, so I will turn the engine over a little bit more and you'll see what my conundrum was as I was doing my teardown. When I first pulled the head off, I thought that the problem was everywhere. No, the problem was really just in that one cylinder. But the problem here created problems over here because pieces of the piston ring from this cylinder found its way into this cylinder and this cylinder and also you can see smaller bits in some of the other cylinders but these two are the main ones that are really affected and you can tell that that's just debris that's a piece of a piston ring that's been hammered into the piston uh, as the engine was in the process of failing so I actually had to pry up a piece of, of debris a piece of that piston ring off of one of these cylinders to confirm that that was what was going on so the idea then becomes, or the question becomes, how did the piston ring from this failing cylinder make its way over into these other cylinders and create havoc over there? So you would think that in, uh, especially a forced induction situation where you've got a turbocharger and air is literally being forced into the cylinders, you would think that it'd be impossible for things to backtrack. Uh, but it is possible for things to backtrack because when the valves, the intake valves initially open, there's still pressure in the cylinder, so it's possible for things to make its way back through the other way. And uh, we'll go over to the head here in just a second, and we'll talk about uh, what went on there, and I can show you a few things there as well. 